what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips tricks hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball so it's been a while since I've done a long form video I've been mostly active on TikTok and YouTube shorts and all of that however I wanted to take some time to sit down to talk about this year these tryouts and what you should do to prepare. Let's get right into it. So throughout the years, I've done a lot of different videos that have really talked about volleyball tryouts and some of the things that you should do to prepare. And throughout those videos, I've stayed pretty consistent in the topics and the advice that I've given you in order to prepare to be the best player that you can be and really dominate those tryouts. But there are some things that I would really like you to prioritize this year specifically in preparing for tryouts. I'm going to kind of reiterate some of the things I've talked about before, like making sure that you're introducing yourself to the coach, because I do think that it is still, and I maintain, I do think that is still a wonderful way to be able to engage with the coach, but also show how dedicated you are and even show that you have a little bit of assertiveness. Do you know how surprising it is for a student to come up to a teacher and say, hey, thank you so much for having this tryout. I look forward to doing my best. That is bold and sometimes bold is good so i really still think that that is something that you should implement in your journey when you're especially when you are trying out because it lets the coach know your name kind of like the old adage or the old saying that if you don't tell your teacher your name the teacher doesn't know who you are right you can't go to the end of the semester and say please 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 give me an a when they've never met you before so you want to be able to talk to them prior to the tryout so that way they kind of have you in mind, right? It's also come to my attention that a lot of teams are now having their players wear specific color shirts to coordinate with everybody all together. Like they have numbers on the shirts or just gray shirts. And I do think this is a way for them to be able to keep track of players. However, our old tip of wearing a bright colored shirt no longer applies in some of these situations. So what do we do to kind of combat that? One of the things that you can do is we still want to have the same concept as wearing the bright colored shirt to bring attention to you. So one thing that we can do is think about something else that's bright, perhaps a bright colored headband, bright colored socks, your shoelaces. Perhaps those are some things that you can add to your body so that way you are a little bit noticeable. We want to make sure that something on you goes so that way it stands out so they see it and they're like, oh, that girl with that pink headband, what was, her, what was her name? I want you to think about things like that. Make sure you try on your volleyball tryout outfit on prior to tryouts. Don't pick everything out. I know that some people like to go and get some new things because when you look good, you feel good. But make sure that you're trying on your outfit prior to the tryout. So that way, you can't, you never wear a new outfit to an event you've never worn before unless you've tried it on, right? So make sure you're trying on your outfit prior so that way you don't feel, you know, uncomfortable in it. Make sure your spandex fit. Make sure your sports bra fits the right way. Make sure you're bringing all your material. Your socks feel good. Do not and absolutely do not try to break in volleyball shoes the night before. It doesn't work. Your feet will be hurting okay yeah no i told you i told you okay don't if you do have volleyball shoes and you're really keen on wearing them or your parents are like you're gonna wear these shoes i bought this is what you're going to do put the shoes on wear them around the house let them mold to your foot that way it gets a little bit more comfortable do not wear your volleyball shoes outside and i know that i've talked about this before but i can go in further depth in another video about that but don't wear your volleyball shoes outside we want to make sure to keep the bottom of them as um gummy as possible the material on them is very soft we want to keep that as good as possible so not on gravel or on the driveway things like that okay make sure you're prioritizing your rest and sleep 
I've noticed that this summer, y'all have been going ham on this practice. You guys have been working, working, working all summer trying to get ready for these tryouts, okay? And I know that a lot of us, it's happening this next week or the week following. So here's something to keep note and to remember. Yes, you've been working hard for your tryout. Yes, you deserve to make the team. Yes, however, you have to make sure to get the proper rest. Are you sleeping as much as you need to be? A lot of sources and facts say that teenagers, and if you're a teenager, teenagers need a little bit more sleep than adults. So, you know, between seven to nine hours. Make sure, and I know that saying, oh, you need to go to bed, you need a bedtime. Yeah, I'm not a parent, I'm not your parent. However, I do wanna reiterate that your sleep is important. Your body needs time to rest and recover and be able to metabolize and go ahead and start to repair those muscles that you use every single day. And you also feel better. I know personally myself that when I don't get enough sleep, I can become cranky. And I know that some of you guys might become cranky as well. And I don't function the best that I could, right? So I know that if I'm gonna have an important event like a volleyball tournament or I'm training somebody the next day, I'm gonna to try to make sure to get as much sleep as I can. So prioritize your sleep leading up to the tryout. Also try to eat foods that are good for you and make you feel good. What does that mean? We wanna make sure we're eating good lean proteins. We wanna make sure we're eating carbohydrates. We wanna make sure we're eating healthy fats. Just eat some food that makes you feel good and doesn't make leave you feeling like the ick, okay? so. Coco is not one to ever tell you that you need to be on a specific diet or a regime regimen or anything like that. It's all about lifestyle, especially as an athlete. We want to make sure that you are participating in a lifestyle that is conducive to your athleticism. So that means that eating foods that make you feel good. Okay. Can you enjoy things that you love? Absolutely. That's what they're there for. But we want to make sure to fuel our body in the best way that we can so that way it can do what it needs to do and do what it can do for us on the court. These are some things that I've really thought about that I would love to add to our already long list of things that would really be helpful in your tryout. But I know that these are some things that we kind of bypassed. However, they are still very important. We want to absolutely try on our outfit beforehand to make sure that it fits appropriately and you feel comfortable. If you have to, and if you are wearing new volleyball shoes, breaking them in prior by wearing them in the house so that way they can get a little bit more molded to your foot, making sure that we're prior prioritizing our rest and sleep so that way we are getting enough sleep that we need, eating foods that are good for our body and make us feel good and help fuel our athletic journey. And if we do have to wear a specific color shirt for tryouts, looking at a different bright colored item that could draw attention to us and really lead the coach's eye to seeing us and introducing ourselves to the coach. So if you have any other tryout tips that you have already gone through tryouts and things that we've missed, please put them in the comments because that can be something that somebody really needs and it could be very helpful, okay? I hope that you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.